We want to multiply and divide rational expressions. And what we're going to focus on is the ability to simplify rational expressions, multiply rational expressions, and divide rational expressions. So there are some steps in order to simplify rational expressions. And that is, first thing is factor the numerator and the denominator, and then divide out any common factors. So we have an example over here. Uh, a times C divided by B times C. So what we've done is we factored out C's from the numerator and the denominator and the C in the numerator cancels the C in the denominator. So then we're just left with A equals B. So we want to, we want to be able to do that process. So one way that we can do it is we can rewrite if we have um, coefficients there, our numbers there, we can just rewrite them. So uh, I know that numbers that multiply together to get to 12, I can say 2 times 2 times 3. If I multiply those all together, I will get 12. In the denominator, uh, we can say 2 times 3 times 3. So these numbers multiply together make 12. These numbers multiply together make 18. And then we can cancel uh, what we have, the common factors that we have from the numerator and the denominator. We have a 2 in the numerator that cancels a 2 in the denominator. Uh, we have another 2, but we don't have a 2, any more 2s in the denominator, so we got to leave it. We have a 3 in the numerator and a 3 in the denominator, so uh, this one reduces to 2 over 3. Another way that you can do it, if you'd like, is you can say uh, these are both divisible by 6. So we can divide the um, numerator and the denominator by 6, and that will still give us 2 over 3. So in step 2, this is talking about common factors. And what a, a lot of mistakes that we make is we divide out common terms. You cannot cancel common terms. So don't do this. You cannot say, oh, I have x squared in the numerator. I have x squared in the denominator. So my answer is 7x. That does not work. Don't do that. The, re the thing that makes it a term and that you can't cancel common terms is if they are joined by addition and subtraction. So if it's joined by addition or subtraction, Uh, you can't cancel it. We can only cancel if things are joined by multiplication and division. So going back, we have here the first step, factor the numerator. Uh, here we can rewrite this as we both terms, both terms have an x in, so we can factor an x out. So we have x times x plus 7. Now, in the numerator, these are joined by multiplication. This is x times the binomial x plus 7. In the denominator, we can factor this as well. We can factor an x out, x times x. Now, these term, these are all joined by multiplication. We have x times the binomial x plus 7 divided by x times x. There is addition up here, but that's part of that binomial, which this makes a factor x plus 7 is a factor together so here in this one we have x divided by x and uh, what we're left with is just x plus 7 divided by x and that is in the simplest form